In this comic discussion video, I'm going to pose the question to all of you, have gas prices affected your comic collecting? Let's talk about it. And for more comics content, head over to genoscomics.wordpress.com. All right, everybody, welcome to another comic discussion video. If you're new here, thanks for checking out the video. Like and subscribe if you are interested in more comic book content. So this video, I've had this actually for a while, even before gas prices went up and then in some places that started to come down, recession, inflation, all that stuff is going on in the world. So I still think it's quite pertinent to talk about and thought it'd be a fun discussion. So, and just kind of get everybody's kind of opinions and stance and kind of see where everybody in the world of comics is at. So have gas prices affected your comic collecting, your hunting, all of that. And it's actually kind of connected to another discussion I want, but it's separate enough that I wanted to do a separate video. So that other one is going to be considering or taking into account all the like other associated costs as far as traveling. Like if you're going to a convention, blah, blah, blah. Do you factor those into the cost of those comics that you picked up? But in this one, again, it's still connected to that, but separate enough. So gas prices and your own personal hunting and collecting now for myself yes i've talked about this before one of my favorite shops in this issue comics i've done several shopping videos from there you've kind of seen i've shown off some footage from in there from checking out the new releases and digging through the two dollars and dollar box books and it's one of my favorite shops but it's also a bit of a drive away it's probably i don't know just maybe just over an hour so i always talk about how whenever i go there i make the most of it and the people that run the shops good people they always talk about, yep, when he's here, like he's definitely gonna take advantage of it because it's a trip. And why I like to go there is because their selection of not only mainstream, but indie books, everything's bagged and boarded. And just, again, invest a vast selection of new releases as well as older books. Well, not so much older, but they have a healthy selection of dollar and $2 books, which I always like to dig through. Always finding cool stories in there and just things to fill up the collection, fill up holes that I'm, or for series that I'm working on, and try out new books. And because of the, that drive, I do, like I said, I do try to, tend to make the most of it. So I hit at least two shops, that one in the Sissue Comics and Tim's Corner Comics, two dope shops in the area. And I always like to hit up food spots down there because a lot of those food spots are not local to me. So when I'm down there, I'm like, all right, I'm gonna check out another, or hit up a food spot that I don't have regular access to. As far as the affecting of it, when <laughs> those prices, gas prices went up long, like high over the price of an individual comic, uh, price of uh, a gallon of gas, I was thinking, I remember one specific time, I was like, all right, I wanna go down there, but I'm looking at the prices or gas prices, oof, do I really wanna spend that there and back, like just that amount of gas. And I could just pick up all those same books on mycomicshop.com and add them to my order that's gonna ship in, well, I think it was, at the time, it was probably a couple weeks still another week or two away from being shipped out. And I just said, you know what, just that cost right now, just don't feel like spending that. And I saved the travel time. So I ended up ordering the books, saying just screw it, and just order mycomicshop.com and did it that way. Saved on all that gas and the time. But that's just kind of just one of those things that I mentioned early in the beginning of the year when I did my cost of collecting comics in 2022 video, which you go check out. I'll link that in the description. But that was just kind of one of those things associated with the rise of prices just all across the board, shipping, just the price of comics, newer comics, back issue comics, supplies, just everything, grading costs has gone up. So all these things have to you have to factor into being a comic collector, a comic hunter, a comic reader, everything associated with it has gone up. So I just wanted to kind of get everybody's feelings out there, just your own personal situations have, I mean, some of you may not even drive, but you may have other travel costs. Maybe you take the train or Uber perhaps, or Uber, Lyft, whatever, ride share, cabs, however you get around, motorcycle maybe, just everything that is related to your travel, to hunting, to collecting comics, whether you're going to a comic shop, flea markets, antique spots, garage sales, however you get to them, have they been affected by the rise in transportation costs, specifically gas? So, I don't know, uh, just kind of, I'm always curious about everybody's just individual styles and what's going on in their, their specific situations. 
And like I said, this is just been one thing that's kind of catching to me is like, all right, you know what? I'm not going to go there. Or if I go there, if I go to whatever spot, it's going to have to be like, I have to make the most of it. I have to do a lot of other stuff there. Another example, C2E2, which was just a couple weeks ago. I chose not to, the place I was going to be staying, I could have either drove or took the train there. And I'm thinking, all right, especially the price of the gas in Illinois, not a chance. So I opted to take the train, travel call or travel time was probably going to be, I don't know, 10, 20 minutes difference, depending on, I don't know, it's kind of, it kind of varies because sometimes on the train there, it's going to be just over an hour. Sometimes it's going to be closer to an hour and a half or just over. So I was like, all right, you know what? Train ticket, especially for that weekend, weekend pass is 10 bucks. So you can just up and you can fly all of it down the train tracks, $10 for the entire weekend. I was going to spend gas. Who knows what I was going to spend in gas for just going there and back one day. So imagine that across three days and spend $20 in train tickets just for those three days. Easy is like just save more money for comics and for food, whatever else. So just that kind of cost benefit analysis. You always have to take into consideration whenever you're doing anything. I was kind of mentioned that before, kind of a opportunity cost with a lot of things there. And plus the train ride afforded me time to do some content prep. I was able to edit some videos back and forth and just kind of work on different things, posting online, Twitter and uh, Instagram, and just kind of doing some content prep as well. So just kind of getting ready for the show and then coming back and kind of processing things and kind of seeing what I want to do for content there. So in that specific situation, it definitely worked out to just say, you know what, I'm not gonna spend the gas money to go back and forth through the show there and then get out to the city, got the shuttle from the train station to the McCormick place, sealed deal. Now I had a taken a, had a stayed out there and stayed at a hotel out there. It could have been different. I probably would have still taken the train considering they had shuttles. So we was still saved on that and saved on the parking cars because not likely gonna be driving around out there for too much. And with all the food places out there, don't really have anywhere else to go. So it's gonna be pretty much the convention and going somewhere to, uh, maybe hang out or just to get food. But in your situation, I'm always curious. So share some of your thoughts in the comments below. If you just, especially if you've thought about this kind of thing before, like, oh, you know what? I want to go over here. Maybe I'm going to go meet somebody for pick up a collection. Like, all right, where is it at? How far away is it? What are the gas prices right now? All right, they jumped up, but is this collection worth it? Which is probably a bit of a different thing because if you're buying collections, you're not likely going to, there's some things you're just not gonna see regularly. Now, if you're just picking up your regular releases, okay, you might say, you know what, I'm not gonna go this week. I'll go next week and pick up both two weeks worth of books and then do it that way just to save, uh, just to save yourself a little bit of money. But again, like collections are so much different. Uh, if you're just out there just doing any sort, of, any sort of hunting, like, all right, you know what, there's a bunch of garage sales on Saturday. I'm gonna go hit up a bunch of garage sales. All right, but gas prices, oh, they're up five, six dollars on wherever you are and how much they might be. Like, all right, what's the, like, you're gonna go out there and take a chances normally, but like, all right, you know what? Now I'm gonna be spending even more on gas to just go around and likely not find anything. Do I feel like doing that? Do I want to spend that money right now? You may not want to, it might make you second guess. Like, okay, you know what? I might just hold off. It's likely they're not gonna do anything or it may make you, do some more uh, reaching out. They say you find a posting on Facebook Marketplace or just somewhere on Facebook. You may just send a person a message instead of just going out there. Okay, they got garage sale. Let me just go out there and just wing it. But he's like, oh, you know what? Let me just message it now because gas is $5.45 a gallon, whatever. They're like, oh, hey, do you happen to have any comic books? Oh, no, we don't. All right, thank you for your time. I'm not going to go out there. I always have time because I've done that before, even before the price and gas, like seeing some listings online and they have books or I hate the, oh, tons of other items. Like, what does that mean? You could have anything. So I'm not gonna waste time going, driving some like who knows how far and just to find out they have absolutely nothing. Same for estate sales. If you can find a way to contact them. Do you have any comic books? No, we don't. Okay, thank you. And that'd be it. Don't have to worry about leaving the crib to go up there and waste any sort of time and gas. But again, just share. I thought this would be a cool discussion. Just one of those things as comic fans, that we, especially comic collectors, that we just have to consider as, as far as spending money because any money we have to spend going someplace is less money we have to spend on the actual comics we hope to get when we go there. So I definitely just want to hear some of your input. Share your thoughts in the comments below. 
happy reading, happy hunting, happy collecting. This is Genos Comics. Thanks for watching and peace out.